Hello everyone, it's Farkid here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a sky base. And this is without using console commands or anything like that. So this can be used on PlayStation and PC, whatever. And it's actually ridiculously easy to do. Uh, you don't need to build up this high, of course, because it's just unrealistic. It'll take you forever to get up here. Uh, why am I holding this? So as you can see, I can place this. I can build anything up here I want. Now, there is a downside to it is that it does take a while to get the building materials so you want to do this from a place that's got a lot of logs so like over there where the main cannibal village is and if you do it heading out over water it might be a good idea too in case you fall off now you can't use a turtle sled to get down here because i just tried i was going to enter the video jumping down and fall down with the turtle sled the way i've set up the basic walls it doesn't work oh wait nah you get stuck but you want them this way anyway now this was originally me trying to find out what was going wrong with people's sinkhole bases Ah, oh, that's a bit better. Yeah, a lot of people have been struggling to get the sinkhole base working. Well, I'll show you what goes wrong. And thank you, Oclexi, for showing me this. When you place the simple stairs, right? And this is the way I said to do it in the tutorial. Place a basic wall like that. And then you can go sideways. Sort of. Well, you can't do that on multiplayer. So you just have to get it to go sideways from the basic wall itself. And this might seem irrelevant, but it's kind of relevant here. Uh, it's not going to work up here. I think I'm too high in the sky because I am very high up. But you just get it to snap sideways off that. Now, the reason you want to do it like this is because you can bring resources up this way. I've got God Mode on, so I don't have to worry about taking full damage. But if you were doing this in normal, you'd be probably taking full damage, I'm guessing. Oh, can you see the custom foundation? How it's not going all the way down? That's because there's a roof limit. The sky goes forever, but there's a... What would be the word? A... B, C, D, E, F, G. A... Like a roof height map thing that stops the custom foundation pillars going down. And this is what I mean. So if I... I'm up quite high now. But if I go to a custom foundation and run it off here, it will go all the way down. And now that will be ridiculously expensive and that can be destroyed. Though if we go up a little bit higher... Here's not high enough, so it goes all the way down. But there's a certain height, and it's just about here. No, see, that's too low still. That's too low. There we go. See, this is the sweet spot. So you can build this. Oh, it's clipping over that, so you just want to go a little bit higher like that. Like that. Draw out some rough foundation, but you can always add on top of that. Once you build it out, you go out a bit further, etc., etc. But also, I've got to be careful too, because that's actually going to block my way. I won't be able to get up on top of this. But yeah, that was really cheap. So once that's done, if I find that spot that I placed it on. So it will be level again. I can go out further like this. It's going to be pretty messy, but um, yeah. This isn't obviously a realistic build. This is probably a build to show off to people and just... <laughs> To go, yeah, this is where my base is. And then you can build on top of this as normal. This building is attached to the tree bridge. You need to place it on a tree bridge. You can't place it on a normal basic wall. I'll show you. Uh, basic walls don't have like proper building collision. I just go straight through it, see? But the tree bridges do have it. What you do is once you've got the basic walls here is that you attach that to that. Done. And just build that. How you get these on an angle, I'll get to very shortly. But yeah, I probably can't jump up on top of that. Oh, yes, I can. There you go. I can't destroy this one because this is what it's connected to. Oh, I really don't want it. It's such a grind. There we go. Yeah, basic walls float. They can't destroy that. And I don't think they can come up this. It'd be interesting to see if they did. But you just break it off halfway through. But you want to keep this bridge because it's the only way you can get logs up here. You can't take logs up climbing ropes. Cranes can't go up this high. There's just no other way. You could probably do Broadbent's uh, sled platform where he builds it really high up, but this is just the best way to do it. Now, this is the highest point in the map that isn't in the snow. So this is why I built it here. I was just testing it out. I didn't know if it was going to work. And the reason I'm shooting it now is because I don't want to lose this because this took all... It didn't take a long time to build. It was just boring. See, so with this, I can backpedal this log cut up here sort of no come on 
Okay. There we go. It's on a fairly steep slope, so I can get up high fairly quick. But you don't want to go too steep as to not be able to take a log cart up. Because these are five logs a piece. It's going to be a lot of work. But you're going to have a base that can't be destroyed. And probably you could do, like, I don't know, some sky fortress or something. Okay, so the way to do it is you grab a basic wall and you just find any spot you want to. It doesn't really matter. You probably don't want to head out towards the edge of the map because you might be blocked off from building. But you just find pretty much anywhere. See, so like on a hill, that goes down. There you go, there's your slope. You can do it there. You can do it here. Pretty much anywhere where there's a slope and the game's got many of them. I reckon around here would be fairly good because there's a lot of trees in there. That's right next to the main cannibal village. So you can go almost sideways, but you'd have to use more logs to get it to go. Now, another thing is that's quite a lot higher up. So you'll save logs going higher, but there's not many trees over there. So around here, you'd probably, I don't know, you might have to go about an extra 20 walls. It'll probably cost you about an extra 100 logs. But when you've got this many trees, it's not a big deal. You don't care, do you? Or do you? I don't know. Just let so you know, building basic walls over cliffs like this can be a bit funny. Because these cliffs don't like you doing this kind of stuff. Well, that's very steep. I don't know if you'd be able to take a log cart up that one. What you do? See, if I place it like that, it goes... It will sometimes go red, but just move around and it will eventually come right. I'm trying to get... Yeah, that way, you don't want to go that way. Because it's too steep. You want to go underneath. Best way to get it to go underneath is to stand right on the edge. Like that. Done. Go up. Next one. This has got on creative mode. It might be a bit tedious to do on normal mode. Yeah, this is too steep, I think. Oh no, hard to say. Sometimes the placement can be a bit of a pain. So this is pretty much all you do. And then you go until a height that allows you to see that will happen. You don't want that. You can also use this idea for building ramps anyway, so it has its uses. It's how I got down to the bottom of the sink, I'll build a bridge down there. And then you keep going up and up and up and up. Uh, there's no cap, you'll be able to go forever. The higher you go up, eventually the ground starts disappearing. You can go on forever, there's no limit. It's like when you fall through the map, if you've had that bug happen. Oh yeah, that's steep. I don't think you could take a log card up that one. It's strange that the console commands in this. You can give yourself 100 athleticism, but you can't give yourself 100 strength. If you've got the ultimate cheat menu, you can give yourself 100 strength, but you can't give yourself 100 athleticism. <laughs> one can do one, the other, <laughs> the other one can't. It's bizarre. Athleticism is more useful, especially if you're making tutorials or doing things like this. Just so you can move around quicker. It's like 50% extra movement speed. There is a higher place than this, but it's in the snow. And there's not many trees up in the snow. There's not many sticks either. I'm just going to go up high enough to try and show you exactly where that limit is. Who put this log cart in the way? Jesus Christ. Oh no, I forgot about my holy cut. <laughs> and I don't have the ultimate cheat menu, so I can't fly up there. You know what's funny? Is that they will never get rid of these basic walls. You know why? Because the lead developer designed them. <laughs> so he's not going to get rid of his own work, even if they can be exploited like this. But again, they're not really updating the game anymore. They probably will. They should. There's probably a few things that they need to address. But if you've got a hole like this, what you could do... I think you should be able to place another basic wall on top of it. Oh, yep. Yeah, so you can just fill in the gap. That's fine. Okay, so here about... Here is where about it is. If that makes sense. No, it doesn't. But how do you calculate that? Now, I could use the ultimate cheat menu to give my coordinates, or I could press... Ah, uh, does it show my... I don't know which... Yeah, okay, Z is height. And it seems to be at a height of 420. But it goes down as you go up. That's strange. I don't know. This is the issue, is that how do I calculate this? How do I tell you that this is the height you need to go to on any place on the map? I don't know. If someone's got a good suggestion, leave it in the comments. I'll probably pin it. There's no way to really measure the height of how high I actually am. But I can obviously look around, show you how high you have to go. If you're over there on a low part of the ground, like at sea level, you have to go this high. It is a long way up. So maybe doing it over there with a lot of trees. That's what I'd recommend. I actually found this mechanic a while ago. What I was doing with the uh, ultimate cheat menu, I just had a custom foundation in my hand and I was floating around and I noticed that it placed it in midair. 
but you can't do that without the ultimate cheat menu because it's just placing down there. I can't see it, it's that far away. But if I place it on here, it works fine. I don't know why it goes down, probably because it's connecting with that bridge there. But yes, you still can build the sinkhole base if that's what you want to do. Though, I think this is probably a little bit more better. Because you could do this over the sinkhole still. You just have to be higher up. Now, if you're looking for a quicker way to get up to your base, I've got an idea for that. And that was how I got into the sinkhole. What you do is you build the reverse climbing rope. Just trying to get it to snap underneath. Is that it? I think that's it. I had a feeling this wouldn't work because it's on a cliff edge. These cliffs don't like basic walls as such. Yeah, it's not going to work there. You have to build it away from them. I've got lighting time of day override on, which is setting the sun to be directly overhead. So directly above me right now is where the wall is, which gives me a good indicator. But you have to use that console command to get, a, to get that, obviously. All right, sideways. Like that. Build that. Climbing rope. There's an anchor point there. I can put it on this side. And then you can slide backwards up to your base. <laughs> this should work. We'll see. Oh, even this has taken a long time, though. You're not going to build this high, though. That's the thing. Oh, I'm going to be just going past it. Must be on a slight angle. I'll let go now. Oh, I missed it. Ah, <laughs> oh, you get what I mean. Have a play with it. You'll work it out. <laughs> but yeah, if you build over water, if you fall, you end up landing in the water, which will be a great benefit. So yeah, that's how you can build a sky base. I personally wouldn't do it, just because it's not realistic and you won't get any action up there. Though, you could probably come up with some neat designs up there. Once you get up there, building there's fine, but getting the resources up there is also just a pain. Another way you could do it is that rock tower I had in Season 5. That would work quite well also. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers. <laughs>